You either gonna have standards or you gonna have a man. But you ain't gonna have both. Keeping a man can be embarrassing. How true is that? Do you think keeping up with a man to have a successful relationship with a man, you have to keep up with him? You have to keep tolerating his BS or keep forgiving him and all of that. Do you think that is the only way to have a successful relationship with a man? Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. Let me go ahead and play the full video for you all to watch to the end. Then we'll come back and talk about it. When I was younger and I used to see people in my family or just people in general, have these 20, 30, 40 year marriages, right? When I was younger, I used to be like, wow, I want something like that. Like I wanna be so in love with somebody that I'm with them for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and we die together. I used to think that what held marriages together for that long was true love. And of course, communication, understanding, sacrifice, all those things. Let me tell y'all what really holds marriages together. Women just putting up with That's all it is. When you understand that all it takes to keep a man is for you to constantly be forgiving and constantly be just be like, oh, okay, I don't want to lose him. So I'm going to forgive this. I'm going to forgive that. That's all. That's all a long marriage is, is just the woman constantly putting up with shit. That's all it is. You not leaving him because he did this. And that's all a long-term marriage is. And that's why when these dumb men be in my comments talking about, you're going to be single forever. You're going to die alone. You're going to die with your cats. I'd be like, good. Good for me. Good for me. If the alternative is having to put up with you, good for me. Like, <laughs> keeping a man is not an achievement. Keeping a man low-key be sometimes a failure for a lot of y'all. I'm just saying it. Hey beautiful people and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing today? It's your girl Maria Davis of course and I am back again with another interesting video. Today's topic is very interesting because it's either you agree with it or you disagree. Do you think having a successful relationship with a man, you have to keep keeping up with his BS for you to be successful in that marriage? And we're talking about marriage in particular because when you see some marriages, you'll be like, oh, we're having 10 years anniversary. This is our 25 years anniversary together. When you actually ask them some deep questions or when they come out and talk so many things you end up seeing that it's the woman that has to like calm down for the man the, the word calm down means that she has to keep up with a lot of bs she has to keep forgiving him whatever what he has done even through cheating through even abuse they'll just be like okay i accept that I, for me to allow this marriage to last i have to be the one to humble myself i have to be the one to be able to take lower my standard let's just use that word do you think all marriages are like that because she sounded like all the marriages that all the marriages are like that she has to keep up with this man and you have to keep forgiving keep you know taking up their bullshit before you can have a successful relationship with them let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section kindly share your thoughts and opinion respectfully i have interesting stitches to share with you all some agree and some disagree with her so let's hear the stitches together then at the end of all the stitches i will share my own opinion as well that's all it is when if you haven't watched this video you need to go back and watch this now, personally, in my own family, I don't have many that have stayed married this long, but I've seen it externally. I've seen it in my ex-boyfriend's family, etc. And I'm just like, wow, that's so amazing. But when you really dig deeper, you realize that it's the women that have put up with a lot of shit. And I'm going to take it up a l the notch just a little bit further. Most of the men don't really start acting right until their friend stops working or functioning how it used to or their image has changed and they no longer perceive themselves to be as attractive as they were when they were younger and I'm sorry to say but that is not a prize to me and the funny thing is is that most cultures like Kevin Samuels would talk junk about black women right and how other cultures are taught to be more submissive etc those are the ones who have to experience or deal with a lot of these guys crap just to stay married and to keep the family together when in all reality a lot of those women have been miserable for years sacrificing their joy to, 
their happiness for this relationship. And I'm sorry, but most black women are not going to put up with this. Yes, be forgiving. Yes, communication is necessary. Yes, we all require work. But my job is not to raise a man into a man. Really holds marriages together. Women just put that's 100% true. I've spoken to so many couples that, that have been together their whole life, okay? And I asked all of them, I asked all of them, how come you've been together so long, like your entire life? How did you manage to do this with no divorce? And then I realized that almost all these women were cheated on at some point or mistreated at some point. But they forgave the man and stayed. So, yeah, I guess that's the key to a long marriage. Take the BS and stay. Once you roll over and take it and you don't say anything, then he's going to stay with you for life. And you all could tell me I'm wrong. I really don't care. Because as I said, I've spoken to many elderly couples. Many especially through my job where I deal with elderly. You either gonna have standards or you gonna have a man. But Baby, listen, I'm gonna have both because he's gonna be a man after God's own heart so he's gonna know how to treat me. You guys, marriage is a, is a God principle. It's a God, it's a God principle. It's a God standard. It's a God thing. But yet we want to leave God out of it but wants something that God created to work without God, without the creator. And that's why your marriages and your relationships are failing because God is nowhere to be found in that. And then, and then they're going to continue to do so. But y'all be blessed because that's not going to be my story. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to have standards, a man, and more, most importantly, God is going to be all up and through that thing. Okay, be blessed. Let me tell y'all what really holds marriages together. Okay, so I obviously can't tell you why these relationships slash marriages last for so long because I, A, have never been married and B, relationships are subjective. But I, I will say, because that video is talking about being with men, if you want to be in a long-lasting relationship, marriage, you are eating element by slim. I think everything has a shot of oblivion, of delusion, because if you don't, you're going to have a problem. You'll, you'll constantly have a problem if you're not letting shit slide, if you're not, like, compromising. Essentially, you're going to have a problem because the truth is, and I always, like, when I'm speaking to my friends, I leave it to you to take it how you want. But I always say that with relationships with people in general, because... When I look at you and I like you and I see the things that you could be, at some point when we get to know each other, the mystery dies out. And when the mystery is gone, we're left with the reality of it. And unfortunately, with the reality of it, we have, it, it could go three ways. You could like it because it, it's exactly what you wanted it to be or because like you just like it. It is what it is. Or there are things that you might not like, but you'll be like, I'll stay and I'll make it work. Or you leave. But if you get to that point and you don't make a decision, decide at that point. And some people are really lucky that they never get to that point and they die. Or so they die with their forever. Or like they get to that point and the Banba was compromised. But what I will tell you is that a long lasting marriage dash off dash off we buy this and if you do do actually find the love of your life in this lifetime yeah bongela i'm gonna go to seven this thing on my amy wedding playlist yeah go stream it do go link in bio bye you either gonna have standards or you gonna have a man but you ain't gonna when i tell y'all that ain't nothing but the month <laughs> but the move like it don't even for women who like women or whomever like however whatever you date how however you date whatever it doesn't matter you cannot tell me out of your mouth that you've been married for a mad long and it's all been based on nothing but love you can't do like 
You cannot do it. Like love in the sense of it not hurting. Love in the sense of it being pure. Love in the sense of growth and change and building your own foundation. Like love, like what really needs to happen. There's, I've never, my Nana and Peppa are the only two people I know. Now my Nana's still rude, mean, she's crazy. But when I see them, it's like, okay, something is there like my papa is the sweetest like he don't cause no problems like he drink his whip whatever whatever and he get his day pushing but i've never seen a married couple like be what i would want you know what i mean like you can't have both like it don't mix together but we won't we're fine to want a relationship so bad with somebody that we have no idea of what we're getting into and we feel like we only have one soulmate in this whole entire planet of earth like we only have one person like i've I've had to meet multiple people baby i'm still young so it's like it just hit me different (laughs) you either gonna have standards or you gonna have a man but you ain't gonna have both okay no but can we talk about this one y'all because this is a point that i actually don't agree with don't get me wrong because i've had my fair share of critiques of the male species but to me this kind of content is going a little bit too far off the deep end maybe it's the hope and faith within me but i refuse to believe that every single woman out there paired with a man is settling or sacrificing tremendously because i know personally and i see women on social media who are in healthy partnerships with men who do right by them and treat them wonderfully my thing is if you're a woman who is attracted to men and want to date men how does this kind of logic keep you both mentally and emotionally available for the man who does meet your standards because while i understand that having high standards can mean choosing to be single for a long time and waiting for someone who knows how to act in a sea of those who don't know how to act can be discouraging i just think that if you date him then you have to maintain a certain level of faith that the one that's aligned with you exists maybe it's just me what really holds marriages together women just putting up with my marriage ended because I tested this out. <laughs> no, but for real, I had friends who had marriages that we all can see from the outside, right? And a lot of them I was noticing that the women just let things slide in the marriage. And I was like, am I doing this wrong? So about 10 years ago, I made a New Year's resolution. I was like, I'm just going to let everything slide that happens between me and my partner this year. I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm just gonna test it out. Just, you know, a little experiment, if you will. So I didn't address anything. I didn't bring up anything. I didn't like tell him he was doing anything wrong. We didn't we didn't talk about anything. We, I just let everything go and just slid everything under the rug and was like hoping for a good year. <laughs> a fuck awful year is what it was. I actually refer it to like the worst year of my life. And I would say that to him. I would say that. Like, after the year passed, I said, well, that was the worst year of my life. And I wouldn't elaborate. And he would just be like, oh, okay. Like, take it in stride. Like, he wouldn't even ask why. (laughs) So come the next New Year's, I make a new New Year's resolution to address everything head on. Because sweeping everything under the rug did not work. So I was like, I'm going to address everything head on. (laughs) He asked me for a divorce in April. (laughs) When I didn't, when I didn't address anything, he went the whole year, not even thinking twice. And I thought it was the worst year of my life. But when I started addressing everything head on, he could make it past April. (laughs) You could be rest assured. I said, yes, (laughs) I took the papers down to the courthouse myself, you know, (laughs) what held marriages together for that long was true love. And of course, communication, understanding, sacrifice, all those things tell y'all what really holds marriages together women just putting up with- i'm gonna be 100 honest with y'all i was all for this video until she made it a one-sided conversation once she made it seem like it's just because of the men and only men can do wrong now i'm gonna have a problem because her general idea is not wrong once you start to really talk to your grandparents or talk to the family members and you know the dirt in your family what your grandparents were doing, like what your grandpa was doing or what your grandma might have done, you'll understand that they've been dealing with the same things that we're dealing with in today's age, but we vocalize it a lot more. You know how they used to say, you need to stay out of grown folks business? That's the grown folks business that they didn't want to tell us at Thanksgiving when we were sitting at the kids table. I'm not saying men don't put women through things because they do. 
but we love to leave out the fact that women be on BS too out here. Women put men through hardships just as well. But like she said, the only part that I'm okay with is once you know the reality of these relationships that is 20, 30, 40 years strong, you are going to realize in some of them, they fought through infidelity. They fought through someone cheap, someone flirting with another. There are things you don't know, but please don't make it a one-sided conversation. You know what really holds marriages together? Women just putting up with Prince Philip made a very um, cutting statement when he and Queen Elizabeth were celebrating their golden anniversary. They had been um, married for 50 years. At that celebration, he got up on the podium, said a whole bunch of, you know, whatever lines that people always say at anniversaries and things. He ended his speech by saying, you know, take it from me, you know, as her husband, um, that the queen has the quality of tolerance in abundance. Meanwhile, um, Prince Philip was known for having a lot of affairs. He didn't really even hide it. Um, to with actresses, ballerinas, uh, movie stars, the whole nine. And when Queen Elizabeth met Philip, she chose to be with him, right? She could have chose anybody. She's a queen. The secret to most marriages is tolerance. You either gonna have standards or you gonna have a man. But now for contest, I advise you go back and watch that video, then come back. Now, what she said, let me quote. She said, you are either going to have standards or have a man you cannot have both which is very true no lies detected and aside love and god be the foundation or the bedrock of any relationship or marriage the major reason why many mar marriages last is because a lot of women just put up with both they accept it with their their full chest their full heart because a lot of them are like I've already gotten this man. I can't let him go. I've invested too much. I have come too far. Who is going to marry me like this? Who is going to take me like this? I don't deserve anything better. Let me just die here. That is the reason why a lot of marriages last. Nothing else. When you confront some men about cheating or maybe lying, infidelity and a lot of things, they begin to see you as a revolting wife, as a wife that is not submissive. But if you find your husband cheating, or has a child or a girlfriend or a wife outside marriage and you do not confront him society and the national association of simps of men see you as a woman that brings peace to men you catch your husband cheating or you find that your husband has a child outside and as a married woman and you don't say anything about it ah you are a woman of peace woman of valor you are a good wife a wife material but the minute you begin to speak about it or you want a conversation my husband why do you do this or why did you do this you are a revolting wife a a, a, a woman that is not a uh, loyal you are not obedient listen the truth is, is 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 that a lot of you ladies also have standards that are just too high they are out of the world you are not even worth the standard yes yes it's the truth and it's not just women it's both men and women it's a compromise yes okay i love this person i can't let <laughs> let me just put up with their rubbish let me put up with their nagging put up with their 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 unfaithfulness put up with infidelity put up with cheating put up with your husband having extramarital affairs having children outside marriage keeping 12 concubines a lot of the girlfriends even know you so when we want to say marriages are lasting marriages are lasting marriages are lasting it's not every marriage that god is keeping some of those marriages are just there because you, the woman, you do not want to go back to the streets. Or maybe you do not want to give birth to children for another man. Or, uh, how would I put it? Yeah, you do not want to be called a divorcee. If not, in the recess of it, if they should really ask you if this marriage you are happy, you are not happy. So, you people should sit and reevaluate yourself. You know, girl, that upper rope for a throat say that because say you are a single woman. Because you are single, we are hanging you. Or because you are divorced. We are, we, are, we are removing you from society. You both should fix yourselves. <sighs> he holds marriages together. Women just putting up with... I understand her perspective, but that is not true. There are some good marriages out here where the husband is not cheating, beating, doing stupid stuff. Um, what it is is just people in good marriages just stay silent. They just stay quiet. They keep their 
relationship business to themselves. They're traveling, they're visiting um, other countries and just going on about their little happy life. I hate that young women view is only so negative because of their circle. Baby girl, get out, get, get a bigger circle because there are a lot, lots, thousands, thousands, thousands of marriages where they're not going through stupid stuff like this. That is, when you sit there and say that the only way a woman can be married for 20 and 30 years is they have to put up with just anything, you're looking at the wrong examples, honey. I ain't been married for 25 years. I ain't putting up with cheating. I ain't putting up with beating. I don't, my husband ain't never took me through no mess like that. And I thank God for that. But I know that's not everybody's experience. But I know a lot of people who was in good relationships that have been married just as long as I have. And they ain't going through no crap like that either. You know, so I'm I'm telling you, I'm an advocate for marriage. I'm an advocate for team finding your one because there's one out there. Just how you feel right now about marriage, there's a guy out there that feels the same way. That feels like, oh man, I'll never get married because marriage is bogus. Marriage is what you make it. And when you really want to know whether a marriage is going to be good or not, is in the dating season. If he's bogus and stupid in dating, he's going to be a bogus husband. What you see a lot of times is people just um, feeling a sexual connection with somebody and they get married. Thinking that, oh God, we're sexually connected and the sex is great, so therefore we have a good marriage. If we could just take people back to the foundation or understanding of what qualifications for a spouse is, you know, sex would not be as high on everybody's list as, it, as they think it is. Because your relationship needs way more than just sex. It needs way more than just love. I hate to say it that, but it does. It is a full commitment. And not to be committed to be drugged through the mud and been embarrassed and made a fool of. That's not marriage. That's torture. I'm not being tortured. Not me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't have to be tortured either. But don't have this such a negative view about marriage. These people out here really tripping. There is some good marriages. There are some good marriages. And just when you got a good thing, you just keep your business and your mouth shut. And you go live your life. That's what you do. But everybody ain't walking around here. You got to just struggling like that. Marriage is not torture. It's not a prison sentence. It is beautiful. It is a wonderful experience, especially when you're connected with someone who is mature and loves you and willing to grow with you. Oh, gosh, it's beautiful. Gosh, y'all just, that negative view. And gosh, and the ones that are talking, y'all are babies. Y'all are babies. Y'all, shoot, just live your life. You are still young. But man, okay, I need some of these good married folks that's, that's got good marriages to stand up and say something to let them know there is hope. You, I'm not, I'm not putting up with crap. I'm happily married, but I'm not, I don't put up with crap. My husband don't put up with crap. We don't take each other through that because we love each other. So, I mean, we do more than just love each other. We're fully committed to each other. He's my person. I'm his person. There are people out there. So I think you young ladies that are kind of want to get married, stop listening to these other young ladies. But also, too, you create your own experience. You create your own reality. And if you go into any relationship thinking that I just got to bear whatever he do to keep him, you that mindset needs to be checked. You got to mature in your mindset before you ever think about saying I do. Of course, communication, understanding, sacrifice, all those things. The funniest thing is, these young ladies are all single. They are all people that think that they know how to endure and handle something, but when they are put to the ultimate test, which is can you share your life with someone else? Can you learn how to be self-sacrificial? Can you put someone else first? Have you recognized that marriage is ministry? Have you recognized that in ministry, you're going to deal with all kinds of spirits and have you recognized that marriage was ordained and orchestrated first by God? If you haven't grasped these simple fundamental things, you shouldn't even be speaking on marriage. 
And then the funniest thing is I look in the comments and I see so many women talking about how they were in 16 year, 20 year prisons. But guess what? If your institution of marriage had become a prison, that says a lot about you and the partner that you picked. I then went through the comments and seen other couples saying, that their husband is their best friend and that they're really thankful for their spouse and they they're seeing all these horror stories and all these horrible comments and they are so sad for these other women that says a lot about your picking style ladies you chose to prioritize the things that were important to you in marriage and therefore the person that you picked and that picked you you two have an understanding of who you will be for one another many people don't do that Many people aren't transparent. Many people don't put themselves out there as vulnerable. And many people hide themselves until married and then expect the person to receive them after they've already deceived them. That is insane. And unfortunately, many young people today do not grasp the concept that marriage is going to pull all of your insecurities to the forefront. And those are things that you've been paired with this partner, this partner, this person to actually learn how to overcome. Marriage is about conquering things. When you go to your employer, you're going to have team building exercises if you work at a company that cares about you guys being a team and working unified. And those team building exercises usually consist of a problem that's presented to you. And as a team, you guys are required to resolve it. That's what marriage is. It's overcoming. It's a uh, conflict resolution it is binding together seeing a purpose seeing the future and allowing the ministry of god to be the third court within that two strands creating a court that is not easily broken if you don't have god in the marriage you failed if you don't recognize that marriage is about overcoming you failed if you don't recognize that marriage is about learning to put someone else before yourself even when you don't want to you failed if you don't recognize that marriage is about pulling out the things that are ugly about you and bringing them to the forefront so you have the ability to address them and better yourself, you failed. Marriage is not for the weak. And sadly, most of today's people are weak as heck. You can't stand through anything. You bow before everything. And if it's not instantly done, like you put everything in the, in the microwave, then you think it's not worth it. I am so glad I was raised by my grandmother so that I knew that you have to put the work in so that I was taught that you have to stand on principle and morality even if that means you stand by yourself and I was also raised biblically so I recognize that we're living in a time now where all of the things that were once considered right because we were actually within right standing before God are now going to be deemed as wrong and the things that are wrong are going to be said to be right it's scripture look it up and that says a lot about the people. You've gotten so far away from God that you can't even see the God in things. But I'm going to mind my business over here with my husband <laughs> that I'm doing life with. Y'all, what really holds marriages together? Women just putting up. Wow. Um, this video just really caught my mind. Um, caught my attention rather um, got my mind turning um, first and foremost I wanted to say that you do not keep a man that's like number one in relationships right um, the man has to want to be there you can't keep a man like he's a, a pet or a dog right um, that's not how it works right um, marriage is real um, building a long lasting marriage is very real and very fulfilling um, been married 13 years now anything that you're going to build that's going to last and weather the storm you're going to go through some things now I'm not talking about infidelity I have zero tolerance for infidelity or abuse but if you're going to go through some struggle with anyone you're going to go through somebody that you're going to build a lifelong relationship with, right? So this thing of trying to keep a man, a man keeps himself, right? A, a, a grown man keeps himself and he's going to be there through the good, bad, and ugly, okay? It's this thing of entering into relationships, trying to make a marriage out of someone who doesn't want to be in a marriage, um, that's a thing. That's a thing where you 
you you chase someone who doesn't really want to get caught. I don't know the circumstances that make the person want to go ahead and marry, um, get married when they're not committed to the relationship, right? And make each other miserable. Um, it's because someone's trying to keep someone, not be because they're wanting to be there. And then in a marriage and relationship, you need a vision for your marriage, right? A lot of people think marriage is just about, oh, someone to make me happy, someone to um, be there for me and, you know, go out with me, um, buy things for me, um, do this for me. Marriage is about building an empire, okay? You have to have a vision for your marriage. And then both parties are invested in the long run. And in this empire, this beautiful thing that you're building, when you find the right person and they find you, and you're committed to loving each other. And there's a misconception about what love is too. I, but that's going to have to be a separate video. A lot of people don't understand what love. Love is not this googly feeling that you have, right? Love is a state of being that you remain in. Once you love someone, it doesn't change, right? It's no different than if you have a child. Um, you love them and that love doesn't change. But a marriage is a commitment and a covenant, that's the thing. Marriage is a covenant and your marriage has to have a vision, right? And when your marriage has a vision, both parties are committed to get and build where you're trying to go. And many people um, have it mixed up because all you've seen is a toxic marriage of somebody trying to keep somebody. And if you go back, sometimes it was, you know built on some foundations that just weren't right, you know. The the foundation of the marriage was was not right. But I can't speak for all marriages and I'm not gonna do that. Um, like the people that keep tearing down marriages because they've only seen this small sphere of people with failed marriages and they take that for the world of marriage, right? Anything worth having and building together is going to require some sacrifice. It may be the wife sacrificing at first and then the man sacrificing so that both can get to where you're going because life is long, right? Life is long and you have to have a vision. And without a vision for your marriage, you perish. You perish one another because you're unfulfilled, right? Um, your husband has dreams. Your wife has dreams. And you have to figure out a way to make everyone's dream come true by working together. You have to have a vision for a marriage. That's what keeps marriages together. All right? Not a woman having a shorty in the stick. Oh, no. Wise women build their homes, right? And they make them last forever. This hopping around from man to man because... You know, you don't want to first not hopping around from man to man. Let me not say that first. Make sure that somebody finds you right and that they are committed to being with you. And you know the signs of somebody who's committed to you. They don't act any different. Um, what you date is what you marry. You're not going to get anything differently. So if in in dating the there was no faithfulness why would you marry somebody who wasn't faithful to you in in your dating if if he wasn't faithful to you when you dated he's not gonna be faithful to you when he marries you and that's this thing about women they think that marriage is like a magic spell you know oh we're married now he's going to be better. no no he's not whatever he was before is what he's going to be when do you marry him now what you accept and what you allow in your life, what you attract in your life, has to do with you. But marriage is real. Marriage is long. Marriage is beautiful. Marriage is worth it. Because when you have a vision, you look back and you see everything that you went through things for, right? But if you're playing around with children, you know, little boys and little girls who are cheaters and abusers and... um 
wanting things all for themselves, that, that's not marriage material. But remember what I said. I hope I didn't do a lot of rambling, but you don't keep a man. A man keeps himself. The biggest mistake is this keeping a man thing. You don't you don't keep a man. If you don't want to be there, he's not going to be there. But if a man wants to be there, he's going to be there. And he's going to adjust. And you're going to adjust until this thing gets knit real tight. And you're going to have a vision for your marriage. And it's going to last. And it's going to endure. And it's going to be something that moves mountains and changes your community. Changes the world that you're in. When people grow up and understand what relationships are and what marriage really is. It's a covenant. And you have to have a vision for your marriage for it to endure. It's not this Cinderella fairy tale thing that people think it is, right? And once again, I don't condone um, infidelity or abuse, but I am an advocate for marriage. Marriage is real, and it's a very good place to be in when you know what it is and how to make it work, right? But you don't keep a man. A man keeps himself just like a woman keeps himself, all right? Okay, so that an interesting video, I must say, because... People that agreed at the points and some people that disagree also had some points to say. But I'd like to know your thoughts and opinion about this down in the comment section. Do you think a marriage cannot work until the woman lower a standard, until she, keep, or she's, she keeps putting up with her husband's BS? Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. For me, if you ask me, I will tell you all she said is true most of the time but i won't tell you probably all the time but most of the time when you see a lasting marriage a marriage that lasted for so long you see the woman happy you see the man happy it is because the woman has decided not to say a word she has decided to keep quiet she has decided to put up with a lot of attitude a lot of um bs that's just just that word and rubbish that the man has been doing for her she just decided to take it in and you know focus her energy on something else that is why most marriages last if the woman start picking on a lot of things that this man does to her they will keep having issues upon issues upon issues upon issues because men they jo they as they are just another breed <laughs> The stage was saying that it is one-sided. She talked like it was one-sided. It was only women that put up with men and men do not try to put up with their women. But most of the time, when you look at relationship, the way relationship has been, when it comes to marriage, right? Marriage favors men more than women. Men are the one that has a trophy when it comes to marriage. Women are just there they act like women is the one that needs the marriage but at the end of the day when you see the marriage you will see that men are the ones that need they can't do without these women so when men does a lot of things women just have to calm down because there's nobody that's going to have your back and someone also said about social media i say happy relationship here and there you can't even know what people are going through until you personally talk to them and they open up to you because you'd see people happy and moving around having fun and all of that you will never know what is going on around them until you actually talk to them one-on-one -on -one. so i won't even say that you can judge a relationship by a social media then there are no perfect marriages you cannot decide that probably two people are together and they're not going to have issues they're not going to fight they're not going to disagree it's okay it's normal to do that we are humans but then when it has come to one sided that it's the other person that has to be putting up with your character then that is where the problem is and most women when you look at marriages most women just decide to stay in that marriage all in society's sake because i don't want people what will i do what will i take this my children to where will i do where will i start from i don't have money it's the one that pays i don't know that that is when you see long the long marriages and you hardly tell because they won't come out to tell you anything you just be smiling and you think things are 
are okay with them but then let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff and when you subscribe can you turn on the post notifications so that you can get notified anytime i upload an interesting video like this thank you so much for sticking around to this point again and i'll see you all in my next video bye